And this episode of Red Cape Sports, it's yet another YouTube collaboration with Les Alex. And today, we're going over our top three Fords. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. Hello and welcome everyone back to yet another episode of Red Cape Sports. My name is Bird Bouchard. Thank you all so much for being here. Again, if you guys are coming over from Les Alex's video, thank you so much for being here. Um, if this is your first time, hey, I hope you all enjoyed this video. So as mentioned previously, we are going over my top three NBA Ford picks. So what does that mean? That means the positions for power Ford and for small Ford. So again, it can be either or position. So starting with pick number one, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I actually made a video about last week mentioning pick number one, but I felt it was ultra, ultra, ultra important to mention it. And no, we're not just mentioning it because Mitch loves Zion Williamson. Guys, I'm mentioning it strictly because of the price. Zion Williamson, you can say what you want about the guy. You can say, hey, you know what? He might be, arguably speaking, one of the NBA's greats. Or on the flip side, you can also speak about Zion's injuries. I get it, guys. They're a real concern. However, I look at Zion and I realize, me specifically, I was wrong on him. I didn't think he would last in the NBA, but I mean, had he played an entire season, arguably speaking, he would have been Rookie of the Year. Zion Williamson is an absolute phenom. More than likely, if he were to have played an entire season, and if it weren't for the nagging knee injuries and ankle injuries and whatever kind of injury you want to call it, honestly, had he played an entire season, more than likely, he could have won the MVP. Now, I'm not saying he was going to, but I'm going to say Zion Williamson is a really good NBA player. And if he stays healthy, he's going to be, arguably speaking, the face of the NBA. Now, why do I like Zion Williamson? Again, guys, it comes down to pricing. Right now, his PSA 9 NBA hoops, under $50 all day long. You can cop it on Com C, you can cop it on eBay. You can realistically purchase it for that price at almost anywhere. And again, that's Zion Williamson. You might think of this as high risk, high reward. You might think as, hey, you know what? It's just a good price. However, I wanted to mention it. I feel like for my money, he's a pretty good investment at that price. So do you guys agree? Do you not? Regardless, let me know down below in the comment section. But either way, Zion Williamson is pick number one. Moving right on into pick number two. Guys, I absolutely love this kid. Tom Izzo did an absolute phenomenal job at MSU turning Jaron Jackson Jr. into an NBA product. Guys, Jaron Jackson Jr. has been shooting threes, and I get it, his form is funky, but he's a rather great player. Jaron Jackson Jr. is one of my favorite power forwards in the league. John ja Morant, Brandon Clark. Guys, the Memphis Grizzlies, as I mentioned Monday night, Memphis Grizzlies are going to be a great young and upcoming team. They're honestly not that far away from playoffs and making a true contention. I'm sure they're going to want to build around guys like Ja, guys like JJJ himself. Again, not going to try to sell you on who he is as a player because, again, it all comes down to pricing. So right now, Jaron Jackson Jr., PSA 9 Prism, $80. All day, you can find that. And for me personally, a guy, a big man like that who can shoot threes, who can bully you in the paint, and who can absolutely block the crap out of people, I believe that's a good investment. So, for all those reasons and many more, Jaron Jackson Jr. is coming in as pick number two. Moving right on into pick number three. Again, guys, we're slowly but surely getting in to the power forwards. And of course, LeBron James as well plays small forward. But I actually left LeBron James off this list and I went for his teammate, the guy who's got the best unibrow in the league, and Anthony Davis. Let's face it. As much as I'd love to see it, LeBron James isn't going to remain in the NBA and play while he's 80. But his counterpart and his teammate, Anthony Davis, is eventually going to take over the reins like Santa Claus and be the superstar of the NBA championship team, the Los Angeles Lakers. Anthony Davis, I mean, he's incredible. He can shoot the three. His free throws are basically automatic. He bullies guys. 
He, he steals the ball. He's basically averaging two blocks a game. Anthony Davis is absolutely incredible. Again, guys, as I've mentioned numerous times, it all comes down to the price. And I get it. His prism's out of reach. Most people, they don't want to fork out that kind of cash. So what they're going to want to do is just own a rookie card. And as I've said here on this channel, time after time again, NBA hoops is indeed gaining a lot of traction. We can look at the trends and they're all trending upwards in one way, shape, or form. So for that reason, for just $150 PSA 9 NBA hoops, you can own yourself a really nice Anthony Davis rookie card. So there you guys have it. Three picks, three of my top best picks for this coming NBA season. Guys, this season is literally, uh, what is it, about just over a month away so if you guys want to cop these cards go ahead um, if you agree with the list awesome let me know by smashing the like button um, if you don't agree with them also let me know um, who did I miss out um, who shouldn't have made the list um, either way guys let me know uh, your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment and also be sure to check out Les Alex's video um, again we're gonna definitely leave his YouTube channel in the description below. So if you guys haven't checked out Les Alex's channel, definitely do it. Um, he's been rocking with us here at Red Cape Sports. Uh, Les and I, we go way back. Definitely go over, check out his channel. He does awesome, awesome stuff.